Hello everyone, my name is Raman and you're watching the Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making great videos. Today you will see my list of the best video editing software for beginners. Every user has different needs, so this guide will give you a brief overview of what to expect from each of the video editing programs presented here. And I hope help you pick the one that's best for you. Have never edited a single video or just made some basic edits like trimming, merging and splitting videos, but still want to edit Add cool effects to your videos? Don't worry, after watching this episode you'll definitely choose the right video editor for you. Make sure to watch it till the very end and you'll find which video editor has more special features than the others. But first, please like this video and click both the subscription and notification buttons, cause you don't want to forget it, do you? Well, if you have pressed all the buttons, let's go! Adobe Premiere Rush. This is a video editor with simpler functionality and a more accessible interface than famous Adobe Premiere Pro has. Adobe has released its new product Premiere Rush based on the Premiere Clip mobile app. This is a video editor from the Adobe company that was created especially for people working and spending a lot of time on the internet. Adobe Premiere Rush is available both on mobile devices and desktop. This program has a wide range of tools, filters and functions that will give you the opportunity to create great content. Only your imagination is the limit. If you're a newbie and it's your first time with this program, don't worry. It has a number of built-in templates, samples and presets. Do you wish to have a video editor with both tons of features and intuitive interface? Movavi Video Editor comes to mind first. What makes it so special? Movavi Video Editor stands out for a wide range of functions, optimized workflow and fast rendering. This program makes content creating fun. Here you can find a tab with dozens of effects, you can easily cut, trim and merge videos, add more video and audio tracks, add animated titles, set up creative transitions, spice it all up with built-in music, add chroma key magic and so on. Plus, the program is very affordable. Do you share my love to Movavi Video Editor? If you do, please tell me so in the comments below. The next app is Clidio. What's special about it is the way it approaches the video editing process. There's a special mini editor for each function. You can cut a fragment of a video using one editor, but if you want to combine several files into one and add some music, just choose another editor and get going. This approach may be interesting for those users who need to deal with their files quickly and do not want to get to the bottom of the complex functionality. However, some users complain that the program itself is rather slow. CyberLink Power Director for Windows is a video editing package with a professional look. Yet the program is simple and has great potential. A beginner user can create a lot of interesting things here. CyberLink Power Director offers the Learning Center. The name itself suggests that it is a teaching tool for a quick start. If you don't have time to delve into video editing theory, this app is perfect for you. Just go to the official website, check out a few how-tos and you're good to go. CyberLink also allows you to make creative edits. Want to send your dog to a dense, creepy forest? Sure. Want to make a special looking lollipop using the blending tool? No problem. Want to add the shield effect from Doctor Strange to one of your videos? They've got you covered. Camtasia is one of that software that is designed primarily for beginners who want to start with video blogging or screencasting, which offers features as recording screen, recording your face, editing the video, editing the video effects and so on. Camtasia is like two programs in one. The first one records the screen. The software helps you create screencasts for teaching, demonstrations and other educational purposes. The second one is for video editing. While the software may not offer all the features of a high-tech video editor, users without in-depth video editing experience can use the tool to create professional-looking videos easily and quickly. Also with Camtasia, you can capture your entire screen or just a window or region. Once your shots are combined, you can edit, cut and splice them and add your voice or another audio track as narration. You can also import music, photos, videos and animations. To help your audience through your presentation or demonstration, Camtasia includes callouts, cursor effects, transitions and captioning. 
What is so unusual about Magix is the support of the 360 degree content and 4K clips. For its 2020 edition, Magix claims an over 8 fold performance boost, real time previews, a more customizable interface, automatic gap closing, professional stabilization, more fonts for titles, and new animations for intros. These join a full stack of features such as motion tracking, action cam tone blades, beat based editing, and in app plugin store. It's a decent upgrade, but still the app trails competition in organizational tools and overall usability. Magic's interface presents flat style button icons for all the effect types, with gray borders and a near black editing area. It's an attractive, clear looking interface. The storyboard view of your movie's clips offers more than most competitors' equivalents. I wish the video preview panel had an in place pause button. However, since hitting stop also takes you to the beginning of the clip. The next video editor is AVS Video Editor. The point of it is a simple and intuitive interface. When you use it for the first time, you get several prompts on how to use each model of the software. AVS wins big points for its ease of use and simplicity. If you're just looking to slice some videos together or convert a video to a format that will work on your phone, AVS is a solid buy. But if you need anything more sophisticated, look elsewhere because its modus feature set leaves something to be desired. AVS does not offer the same multi-track video editing features found in some other software, as it supports only one standard video track. This limits the software to basic home video editing and similar tasks. However, you can sequence as many videos as you like in that main video track, and multiple video overlay tracks are supported. Nero Video has a long list of great video editing tools to construct a compelling video. In the advanced mode, you can add unlimited editing tracks, which provides flexibility to create complex projects. It has a library with hundreds of effects, transitions, and other objects that allow you to enhance your audio and video so you get the exact look and feel you want. However, to me, the interface, workflow, and organizational structure are occasionally confusing and counterintuitive. Nero Video is a basic video editing software. It provides the essential tools to create videos and share them with your audience. However, its ability to compress videos is shoddy and it lacks the intuitive usability that separates good video editing applications from the best. OpenShot is a free video editing application for Windows, Mac, or Linux that would be great for any beginner who seeks video editor tools. Still, OpenShot allows you to make stunning and fabulous videos. You can import the content like images and videos in your composition. Then you can apply different transitions and effects, and you can add as many layers as you want. The interface is pretty basic, but it offers everything you need in terms of a video editing app. But the biggest bugbear there is how sluggish the app gets when applying effects. Even transitions slow that particular section down to a crawl, making previewing footage in real time pretty much useless. OpenShot can also be rather unstable, crashing merrily by adding an effect to a clip. Finally, Apple iMovie is a super simple app that is great for quick video editing on iOS. Its advantage is that the interface only shows the tools you need at the moment. It does not obstruct the view with all the available tools, but you only get two video tracks, which is not always enough. The two video tracks are enough for one of iMovie's strongest features. It's green screen, aka chroma key tool, which is automatic and extremely effective. What other programs call effects, iMovie calls clip filters, and you can get at these not from the menu section that includes transitions and titles, but from the eighth button out of nine above the preview window. There are some nifty filters here, including X-Ray, Duotone, and Sci-Fi, along with several black and white and retro looks. These were the top 10 video editing software for beginners. Each has a simple interface and clear workflow. You don't even have to watch video tutorials before you start editing using any of them. Thank you for watching this video till the very end. I hope now you're ready to start creating your own professional looking videos quickly and easily. If so, don't forget to press the like button under this video. My name is Roman, this is the Mobile Vlog, your go to channel for making great videos. Please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you won't miss the latest videos. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.